Hip and her life, thank you. Your mic's a little bit broken. But okay, hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today, this week, this Saturday night, we are going to play the chapter, the second chapter of Life is Strange. If, uh, I don't know, I want to say it before the storm, but it's double exposure, second chapter, okay? So, yeah. There we go. A little bit long note there. Okay, so let's jump into the second chapter. I didn't use this yesterday. Hmm. Oh, yeah, big chapter, okay. Go! Chapter 2 Chapter 2 Penumbra What the fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just... Uh, really oh, it's orange because of the reality shift. Okay, okay. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh, what were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Right. Your book! The secret book! I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been like a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? Kind of curious what, what the difference is between, between the timeline and this timeline. Oh shit, here we go to Nosplit. Oh shit, dude, your nose. It's fine, just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. Uh, let's uh, let's see the chat. The chat knows. Let's see here. Wait, 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 wait.
I think it's the same chat. Yeah, it's the same chat, chat here. Is there a different journal? And this is okay. This is the same. Still broke up, but that's sad. You do it every weekend. I know. It's nice. Did you do any campus activities? But what? What's your name again? No, all about my college days, Sophia. Oh shit, I can change reality here, <laughs> okay. Come on, mom. I'm supposed to see through your own like about your I like that you took drugs. okay. I gotta curious what happened if I change here. Change reality here. Can I? Oh uh, yes. No. We need to like find some Something like a ripple or selection, or selection. I still can't believe Safi is here. Ah, Alive. Okay, thought, okay. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. I mean, if you change reality, it doesn't mean that everything. Change and your inventory changed. You'll never catch me alive. Alright, say cheese. <laughs> oh, Safia, come now. What's A? <laughs> Where's the A button? Is There's something new though. What new? I swear, the jury is not one day button. I'll get a candidate of Safi. Oh shit, she's alone out here. Yep, that's... They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. Hey, so come on, mom. Not now, I'm not to now. Your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Oh, yeah, Maxine. It's kind of cool. You can see like what's different in this timeline. Well, you cannot interact with it, but still. December sixth. So it's the same day here. I didn't go back in time. Something else is happening. I forgot what did I choose. I think I just call him Chowder. Well, that's good. What's all this? Is there a live event happening? You like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh, sweet. Another newbie. Hope you come. To your face to get noise. What noise? I don't even know where the noise coming. Let's just explore then. Ah, oh, this truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. The noise, though. Was something here? I guess they're trading stuff out. Wow, these really are the worst lines I've seen. Well, it's different now. 
Let's speak to Amanda. Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. You dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? Oh, shit. No. You're right. I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kind of yeah, 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 that type of... Oh, okay, so... Okay. So I asked you out. I mean, that's how I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Oh, shit. This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Safi isn't dead. So, are you gonna tell me what happened? I mean, it's both a lie, but let's just say I'm working. Shit, I was working. I get total runaway train tunnel vision sometimes. I'm so sorry. Ah, the old I'm a serious artist excuse. I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. I think I'm going to regret that. Hey, but... shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? Okay, I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... So what's the fire leaving? Oh shit, what's leaving? I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming and whatever caused it. I see where's the humming from. Ah, this is the like the fracture. Is Gender neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. Yup, this is definitely the source of the hum and my nosebleed. Let's poke it with a stick. And slip. Oh, shit. I... <laughs> Holy it's shit. It's sleeping and dead. Why? I'm Why didn't I miss sleeping back, and dead? Aren't I? In dead world. This is so fucking crazy. The current amount display displayed for a limited amount of time after shifting or after recalling a current object. Go back to Safi and Yasmin, but I want to explore a little bit. Max, you're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm like pursue this girl. I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to line up my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for? We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. It's a 180 dialogue. close to Safi, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Mm. 
No Christmas decorations on this side. If I can't get on here, I will face God and walk backwards into hell. Even the, the pickup line is different. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh... I understand. Well, this universe is depressing. I will go to the other one. Wait, what? Then? Oh, yes, new Polaroid. No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. Wait, I heard Moses. No, no buts. Only. I know you. If you send me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. I hate that they canceled Krampus for one dead student. Jesus Christ. Really? This isn't unsettling, it's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You love them. Right. Next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, honey. I mean it. Where's Moses? Back, okay, so fix Moses is gay. Okay. Whoa. Am I hearing stuff from ah. that other world? I didn't see Moses in the snapping turtle, though. This makes no sense. Let's go back to the living one. Oh god, I was too back. That's the way back across. Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. But I hear Moses. I want to know where Moses is. I hear him here, but I don't see him at all. Oh well. It is different. Was something here? I guess they're trading stuff out. <laughs> this here, okay. Then. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. I don't want to make them worry, so... Oh, I'm golden. It's just Probably a Tuesday for me. It's weather, Tuesday for you know? me. Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? <sighs> Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Ah, that's from Fuck, the Sophie. snappy turtle. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. It's a threat. It's you don't think it's some threat. sort of a threat? From who? Vegans? Stop eating burgers. Or this is about to be you. <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. Yeah, you back there. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. So we are going to the other timeline to see what is. It's okay, right? She's gone. Were you done there? Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty. Is it's okay, Rathi. Oh, this is a puzzle place, okay. 
Let's go to the other timeline. Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. There's... I don't think there's an inscription there. Why can't I just the coast guard? Can I go? Yes, I can. <laughs> there's nothing written on it. Fuck. Size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? I didn't expect to see you here. When we spoke this morning, I wasn't planning on coming. But I couldn't help habit. Safi and I used to have lunch here every week. Terrible food. But it's close. Anyhow, take care. Uh, where's the letter? Cancel the Christmas party. I guess that makes sense. Where's the letter again? Talk to we cannot talk to Amanda now. Uh, yeah, let me just strap on my rocket boots. I'll need a few inches if I'm gonna get that down. Viral Galaxies was pretty stellar. Oh my god, Derek. What did I say about puns? Yeah, we yeah. got outside or over here. Oh. Oh. Uh, the only way is outside. Oh, we can go outside. Okay. And once you get the sound, so he comes out. Why is called assassin? <laughs> and we shoot him? Ah, uh, it's a nerf battle. Okay. That's fun. Still not like that. Though. But why we can hear it? Maybe there's some. Let's go to the leaf. Open! Side for this. It's just. Hey, do you have the bathroom key? Uh. Yeah. Could I grab that from you? We're using it. We'll put it back when we're done. You're using it? Yup. They are definitely up to something with that key. Not that they're gonna talk about it with me standing uh, here. We are going back to the. Is it the bug of that the door are open, both of them? Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to dead people. That's safe drop.
it? Why I cannot hear it? Is it another bug? Or, or am I missing something? Way back across. Or maybe we have to like search for the dart gun kits at the dead world. It's way too cold to be out here, but. I'm pretty sure if they brought those dart guns inside, Amanda would kill them. They're going to Amanda then. <laughs> That's a clue. Okay. Yeah, there's a bedroom. Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question, and I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. I don't know, I should. Yeah, fuck it, let's just. Yes. Because it her. somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. <laughs> uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. And we saw the key. Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to dead world. Now we are going to message from Diamond. Ah, she's Diamond, okay. My service has been closed after the past days. I'm worried about it. Any time. Wait, wait, wait. Safi this oh yes huh? ah yes hmm 
suspicious. Vin or something. How could Vin mix me up with Safi? Why is talking to Safi? Isn't Safi like that a couple of weeks or days? Wait, did we bring the bathroom key? Or maybe... Maybe, just maybe. Let's see. Let's... What am I? It's way too cold to be out here, but... I'm pretty sure if they brought those dart guns inside, Amanda would kill them. Oh, no, no, no. How do we get the ladder? Oh, that's ladder, okay. We just take the ladder and go to another universe. And steal that off. What's the key for then? Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to dead. Get some litter that I get from another universe. Game logic somehow. Oh, there's there's a signature. Is that a signature? Oh, this is so stylized. I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. shit. Did Lucas throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't make any sense. Fuck, I need to think. What is going on? Lucas. What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the skull rustler. Save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I should cross over and see if he's around. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. 
I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Sophie's car isn't just gonna out themselves. I just said that wrong. Living world and ask question, guess and feel. Now, if I were a bovine vandal, where would I? There's Vin. If it was a Braxis that stole the cow skull, they might have done it on Vin's orders. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. If there is any point of interest, nothing inside. Okay, so let's go. And uh, don't get cute either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well. Find we are like behind it. How did they not notice? Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have been looking for? Let's say I find uh... your missing patience. Maybe this way. I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Maybe he like diamond. Figured. That person's skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. <laughs> Living on the edge. Wait, there's another repo. This is really there. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Score! Diamond a gazillion points. Ready, zero. I thought we said no more ambushes. Stop whining, you're fine. But the snowball war got called off in Dead World. I don't think this is the other timeline. It must be some other one. I see what happened in the dead world. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important.
Wait, wait, wait. I just realized. Wait there. Oh, wow. Living world? Look at us in the FIB, but I'm going there. This is some suspicious riddle. Why, why, why can we go to the dead world there? It's like an X fill. They have our man, and he knows too much. Hey, shh. Huh? Ah, oh, ah, oh, I see now. I see now. So we go to the dead world, and then we go there. Hear what they have to say. I should see what those Braxes. Yes, me so smart. Ven's lackeys aren't in the. Holy shit! Someone took Vin's phone, and they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Yes, we can. We like this power. Now we are going back to this portal here. Back to Diamond. What? Sophie told me the campus would be gorgeous for the holidays. <sighs> Glad I'm we're in, to see that in here. real life. It's gonna be two months before Christmas. So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do! Of course! So, was it you? Here I was thinking they didn't let artists in residence join Abraxas. I'm not. And yet you're over here digging through my business on Vin's orders? Take it, that's a no. That's correct, Max. I didn't steal Vin Lang's phone. <laughs> it's a strong thing. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the Typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to... I will dissolve that. We don't get anything okay. from it. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. Wait, there's triple there. Timeline ripple, here we come.
time to clear Diamond's name. In the dead world, like nothing. If Finn stops focusing, time ripple there, here, and there's, there's time ripple there. I think we saw a time ripple. That's dangerously cracking. Art student prank or horrifying creature, the world may never know. Secondly, nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh, guys? Pause. These are classic bird tracks. Can we go now? I want to get back home before this edible kicks in. I've got pertinent info. I think Ben will talk to me now. Ah, I did the check. Why there is a ripple there? Should do nothing. Time to clear Diamond's name. There's nothing new. Then. So, bad news? I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news? It wasn't Diamond. Holy shit! You figured all that out with like zero clues. I just knew who to ask and how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free. Tuesday, after 7, and I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's... whiskey? <laughs> yes, but damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? <laughs> what a break, wait. Wait, hold on, I don't wanna... I, I don't wanna think of... I don't mess with him, uh, I don't... I think let's go with the axe. Cute. And at least a little tempting. But that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh. No fun. So. Someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? <laughs> uh, uh, if I answer B, it sounds like sarcasm. If I answer with X. I know we will be offended. Um, let's. Mm, 
This is hot. Let's say not like I didn't say that. No. But it's what you meant, isn't it? Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Oh, shit. Wild, right? Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but... Okay, the suspicions go south. And need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Okay, it's ben, suspicious. What did you do? <sighs> Glad my other suspects had the sense to stay indoors. Amanda. Are we like fixed with Amanda, or there is something so maybe another candidate? I mean, I know Finn is maybe one of them. Right. What the? A cat. This is the cat DLC, isn't it? <gasps> yes, it is. Note to self, avoid this bush. A cat. There's a cat. What happened in the dead world? Does the cat still exist in the dead world? No, it doesn't. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. I we should go to Gwen first. First, Gwen office. Gwen office is there. What if we go out of the range of the attack? Just go on, okay. Gwen was acting really weird. Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find a phone booth now. Give me a second. Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, Good, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. 
I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all I just guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. Wait, there's... Is that a little camera recording? It's like... Quits? Hold on, hold on. I think which rooms are open. I need to start somewhere. Lucas or Gwen? Oh, there's her. Top here. Let's see if we can enter Gwen's office. It must be the lab. It's locked. Figures. The only way is we are going to the living world and then go inside. Hopefully nobody sees us. Use it more. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. I said to Death Row. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. It's creepy. Live fast, eat ass. Wise words, whatever they mean. Fiction, nonfiction, poetry, plays, bunch of scenes. Is there anything Gwen doesn't read? Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? Busy woman. I think this is the book that we stole from the library. Oh shit, oh that's why... That's why Gwen won the book from the... Thing. Gwen is asking questions about Sophie's death. And for a cafe and son, this is in fine. So I'm happy to miss any news. Not that I heard of this. It's been uh, freaking me out. Who's DTH? Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. This is the, this is the dead one. These emails are from way back. Like, 
before Sungmi knew she wanted to be a poet. Being Safi, poet or something? I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. Dr. Hunter, I appreciate your condolences. You know I do, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. Maybe Gwen Snow. Whatever the case, I'll see you at the staff meeting. You should get a call from Jin later today. Maybe Gwen knows something about South is dead. Hey babe, just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fyatt's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hands staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. <laughs> I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. This is getting complicated. Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. This what they're playing. Drink up, buddy. I mean, I always thought they were playing in the first Life is Strange game, so. If Safi was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? This thing looks older than Caledon. Uh, if Gwen sent an email to Maria, it might still be on her computer. Wait, email? All right, Hacker Max. Let's go. Search. Sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book cancelled? What? emails are from way back. I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I thought Gwen helped Safi set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Oh shit. Somehow. Oh, that's a printer sound. Oh, guess I thought it was the key sound.
I leave, I want to see the leaving one. You would never do what, Gwen? What is this about? Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? Uh, this is gonna be heading to timeline. <laughs> There is no more Marie, I see. Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a B. <laughs> well, so, um, <laughs> this is the leaping world, okay? The. I think. Okay, this is a journalist. <laughs> Man, I hate her, but in the other timeline, I don't her, hate her here. Let's just be a good, a good boy. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Boss Bitch, and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe, babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it looks worse than Oh my god, an answering machine. As I live and breathe. Um, Dr. Hunter, this is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are gonna be canceled for the rest of the semester and I just wanted to check up and see if you're all right. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. You would never do... What? Gwen cancelled her weekly... Hmm. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. Damn, talk about a green thumb. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. What do we got from Gwen? Yes, acting weird. Just acting weird, etc. etc. Mr. Lucas. Same spot. Let's have to look at the one first. Going to the Nash. I've never seen Lucas look this happy. I wonder who he's talking to. I. Wow. 
just wow. Max. <laughs> Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? But I was open. Dated <laughs> December 5th. That's when Safi's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. I mean, it's open. Hmm. <sighs> His notes are great. No wonder his classes are all instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to find that key. Mm, it's suspicious this but Son, I would never. I understand this crime involved a biohazard. One night, as I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And they left some dookie smeared toilet paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet? Get toilet paper and then go shit in the sink. This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice, and I became dead set on finding the perpetrator. Oh, we can just. We can just go do that. Lucas is usually in the cafe at this time. Robbie, I got a split. Uh huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems you to bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. Maybe I was a little rough earlier. With everything going on, I just... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Grief is hard. The trick is not to let it change your character. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? It's hard to miss. Yeah. Better to put butts in the seats, huh? 
Here's hoping. <laughs> the standards for the expo really declined over the years. We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? Years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. Ah, Diego said we can we like destroy this thing. Huh. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Hey. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Yes, yes, please, yes, please, yes. Is there any other way to like destroy this? destroy this? You can just do this. Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? The classics are classics for a reason. Is that good for the classics? Oh my goodness! Who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Yeah, yeah. Right. In her cool. I like that. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but. I mean, I know she's broken up Somebody with Chloe, drew but... horns and a tail on your book at Expo Standee. It's good to hear Chloe's name once in a while. Are you serious? I just put that. Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come hey, on, we get the key. Stupid marker. Well, there's a visual book, I think. It's already unlocked. Though. Lucas's famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Sophie's car. So who did? No Ready? point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. Satisfying though it is. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. So this is how the literati spend their free time. I was not there. Sophie? Let's see. Rest restraining order. Let's call him an era. Protect the person in our cell. Oh, shit. Hmm.
Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Why? Let me explain. Please. Okay, let's let's hear it. What do I have to say? Catherine. My ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never. I mean, I could never. The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it, it makes me sick to think about. Okay, he like his son. Maybe I will ask about his wife. Any chance your ex was exaggerating? Trying to twist the knife? Catherine's... a lot. But she loves that kid as much as I do. She wouldn't use him like that. He told her I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. Is that a bad guy? <laughs> I mean, in the dead world, like, okay, it's not that happy, but the first Lucas got his book, exhibition thingy, and Gwen is not in prison, not in law thing, but here, every, the both of them has like, a, got the bad juju. Wait, why would Robbie trust Sophie? Does he even know her? She used to babysit for us, believe it or not. Robbie adored her. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Sophie's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look, I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but just give me a chance to get this shit in order first, without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. Uh, <laughs> oh, this was like the decision. This is a big decision. Get the guitar. Okay, I like, I like to this Lucas. Okay, I like the living world Lucas. That seems sincere, but I'm still Savi's best friend. This hard I mean, he can lose his job, man. Some of his mother is like the head faculty of. Mm. <sighs> Let's just end it. You're right. I have no reason to believe you over her. 
You're not as good of a person as you like to pretend, Caulfield. Maybe you and Safi deserve each other. I'm making enemy here, aren't I? I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Hope Ven's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. I will make a I will make different decision uh, when I play the second playthrough. Thing is Yep, that's a long loading. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if Hi, Mama, can you hear me okay? No, I'm just turning in some end of semester paperwork. And what the I really hope that's just coffee. I was curious what who's DJ is. I should head over to admin and get some answers. Someone thinks they're funny. <laughs> Dignity restored. Okay, this one normally is here. Going to call you Pauline. Have you been watered recently, Pauline? I want to be a bust. How does one become a bust? What is Rupa? Oh, the dead world seems. I just realized like it's colored like colder. I'm going up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. See what? You talked to one Renicop. What if I told you about sources? Are we really That's the fourth bottle I've seen our fearless leader open. What fourth bottle? Is Finn getting stressed or something? Finn's probably back at his desk by now. But in the dead world, he isn't. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just that was good luck finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. 
It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Mm. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am like... Extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. Slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> Abraxas shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. I, can you just... I don't know. I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. This must belong to someone flashy. And forgetful. And cold. First bit. I know what they're doing. My grief isn't affecting my brain. Wow, the frame drop. Can you stall the board? Stall them. I'll be there as soon as I can. Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. I think we all feel a bit busted sometimes. Jeez. Somebody robbed an airport lounge. Oh, that's fit. <laughs> I didn't see him. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. Fucking shit. Oh, oh, Max. <laughs> It's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance, who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of. You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. Join me. How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Sophie? <sighs> Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Everything is about Sophie nowadays. This isn't about Sophie, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. I don't know what I don't miss this guy. Ah, fuck it. I think I'll pass on the sexiness. Hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Vin does owe me a favor. <laughs> this is what I about. This kind of game. Mm.
I'm mean, the kind of guy who save something for later and then don't didn't use it. So maybe for this time I will call it now. So remember that favor you owe me? Yes. Um it can be anything, right? Anything but foot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. I need your phone passcode. What? <laughs> uh, you know I can change it once you leave the room, right? I'm not giving you my phone. That's fine. I don't need the phone. Just the code. What's this? Like a, like a power thing? Forcing sweet virgin boys to give you their passcodes? Fine. Suit yourself. It's one nine five two. Thanks. Oh, I remember it. You know, there must be some other ways that I didn't use win favor, but I would. I will use that for another playthrough. Where's the phone? Where's Finn? Where's Finn? Hmm. Not totally sure how to One, read nine, these, five. but I don't like the look of that tower card. Chaos. Wow, Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes. What's that? A Krampus of your very own. I hope this is the right code. Oh, uh, we don't need to enter the code. Okay, that's good. Uh -huh. Success! I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food picks, food picks, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Safi in here. Okay, there's two things. It's... I didn't get the impression they were close. It's either his stalker or... Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, that's, yeah, that's it. Wow, that is really close. Uh, that's why, that's why he did that one. Okay. Yeah. Well. Who even were you, Safi? Now I feel bad for Lucas, man. Ah. I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Me too, Lucas Max. is filing a restraining order? Vin and Sophie sleeping together? Gwen killing Sophie's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I mean, you can. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Oh shit, what happened? Everyone stay.
stay back. Give him some space. Me? Did I say that? He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. That's a little um, yes. Fuck off. Hey, looky loose, fuck off already. Can you run and get him some water? Oh and dead one, okay. You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? The fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. Let me call. Let's be calm. It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar, how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? <sighs> well, A plus for following directions, then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around. Working on the puzzle box, the the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other speaking? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell Loretta? Thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later. Yeah, just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Yeah, this leaking, man. The second timeline is leaking. I mean, it's episode two. What do you mean? Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Nope. You know, let's see the funeral of course. Here it is. Better start heading up to the overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. Thank you. Oh, be right back. Oh what? Oh what? Wait. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. Why am I not at home, wrapped up in a blanket burrito right oh, now? Right. You have oh, 24 hours throwback. before the world ends. What would you do? What's this? F's in the chat for a uh, sanctuary, a three dimensional exploration. Ah, this is right behind me. <laughs> I just saw that. From here, I should be able to make it up to the overlook. I've oh. left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. Hello? 
Okay, before it was a butterfly, now it's an owl. Wonder Reggie had a panic attack. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Okay, there's this. This is from Lucas. Say what you will about his personality, but dude can compose an eloquent threat. That Gwen. The vibes here are way off. I should look into why. There's no ripple here. Oh, there's. I should talk to Gwen first. Hey, Gwen. I'll take it. Thanks. <coughs> Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit. Did pot get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. The brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I was afraid if I said something said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him off, make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted? Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me. Dealing to students. Someone who looks like you. It's sleeping everywhere. It's sleep. Oh shit. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was my evil twin. <laughs> no. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their mind. Mine is sleeping you don't everywhere. Mean that. That's crazy. 
Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Well, that's one thing Max Moore always brings this. Lucas so. shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon. To Yasmin. And to feeling powerless. No, 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 Max, Max, Gotta thank you. Take catharsis where you can get it. Max, what? I deserve the footage. What the fuck? Gwen, listen. If I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Okay, we, we, we are being hated by Gwen from Gwen, two wait. different universes. I need to ask you something. Is it true they cancelled Safi's book deal? Oh, Jesus, Max. Have you ever tried not being so goddamn nosy? Wouldn't you want to know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. That be experience is the That's crazy, two different timelines clipping to one another. And this is like the second episode. What what the hell they find? What the fuck? Oh, oh shit, what happened? What? <sighs> Oh, Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Okay, take a bit, it's not a bitch. <laughs> Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? I did the species species for with with everyone. Uh Let's just tell the truth for now. No. He said he saw himself. Another Reggie. God. That would have messed me up too. I mean, she's a journalist. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel... Real. Wait. 
suicide tip? One of the B cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Is that what's... Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. <laughs> why do I know everyone? Everybody here looks so genuine. Uh... If you know something, cut away. I was hoping you'd say that. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe, yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern, maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. Well, you, you know. I have to go. Lover, it's getting creepy. And like I say, it's the second chapter. So okay, in the first year and the second chapter, like, introduction to her power or something. Got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? He sees up. Well, I did. I did do something. What did you do? I took Sophie's camera. Has it stolen? it? I know. Moses, why did you- It wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. That I just- When we found her that night, I saw the camera, and I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office, and then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? It's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there, in my office. Moses! I screwed up. 
Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Another timeline. <laughs> make another timeline slip. That's what Miss Max do. Coffee. This one thing I learned from YouTube. Are you with the police? Don't you need a warrant to search my friend's office? Max, please chill. Vincent Alderman. Vermont State Police. Still you need the warrant. I'm the new lead investigator on your friend's case. In this instance, Dr. Fayad has granted permission to search any property belonging to Caledon. That's your warrant. I'm pretty sure you still need a warrant. Universities don't own all the equipment in Just the drop it. Nice. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. I promise. I'm just making an immediate right and all I fear. Why did okay. I make it immediate right? Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. What I learned from the true colors is in the end you need friends. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Where indeed when I need it? There. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Wait, doesn't that mean Mo Moses? Oh. Time slip inside. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Wait, why? I don't think if Safi didn't die here, then doesn't that mean this Moses doesn't actually oh, okay, take it? Oh, hey Max. <laughs> That's, That's scared shit out of me. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? Uh, probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh, that's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Okay, name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like, something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. The maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. <laughs> rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh, Moses? Need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? Uh, no, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. Time slip. Time slip. There must be another time slip here. That's still annoying. 
What's an island range looks like? I barely speak English, so is that it? Is that it? To get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. That's not it. That's not that Allen wrench. No. Uh. Better give this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. At least what Moses was like. I bet Moses covered his bedroom Building. with bees as a kid. This must be for working on the mural. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. All right. Just relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. It hurts to look at this. Better give this wrench to Moses. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used to justify the suicide angle. Yeah, that's bad. Better give this wrench to Moses. Oh, this is the living. I thought it was the dead one. Here we go. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Why haven't you? You know Safi. She has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right?
snap the keys, Max. Snap. Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. Bye, living Moses. God. Oh my Get god. That stuff. Stop. Yes, Max, I hear you. I hear you. Take it, unlock it. Oh shit, no cameras. Damn. What's that? This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Under Is this safe. where he hits off his camera? Insane. Come on! How long does it take to bring a damn key? Under okay. safe. The camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Let's try asking the living Moses. Oh, will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars Did you everywhere. stop? That's still annoying. All of Moses' friends are nerds, huh? No wonder he gets along with me so well. They're safe. Is the camera around here on the other side? That's one possibility. It's in safe. Well, it's a star. Maybe the other Moses hid the camera around here. And they're safe on the lower left. Well, the only possibility is, is that. Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? No camera. Must not be the right safe. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. Oh, this copy.
Right, because that would have been too easy. Maybe Moses was thinking of safe when he drew this? At least Moses hid the camera well. Wherever it is. Or is it in the second floor? Possible. Oh shit. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. The safe. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. Mm, so hmm. We can only move. Constellation. Okay. I that? think I got it. Fingers crossed, I can find safe on that wall. That's just genius. Let's see, save, 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 there, save, under, save, there. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom! Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. How do we get there? No, no, no! Shit, avoid detection. I hate this kind of game. Shit, I can't let him see me in here. Can we just move? How do I want to move? Oh, yes, we can move. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. The little piece of sausage. Sausage. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. here. I didn't want so, to show up right in front of him. So the Alderman will let to go. Take it here. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Yes. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Let's see where's the other man is. Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Where's red? Where's red? Where's red? Where's red? Shit, oh. what? What? 
actual fuck. I'm shifting. <laughs> oh my. That's, oh. That's new. What the hell? I'm shifting shit yes. now. What the? Can I, can I shift? Can I shift? Can I shift? For this, can I, just, I just need to hit. Okay, so there's a possibility there's more than two timelines here. Oh no! Oh shit! We just oh, holy wow. shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. How? Oh, Max, you got some explaining to do. Gotta run. Sorry, I I'll text you. Yo, what? Yeah, me yeah, have Moses. Same reaction for with me. Same, same. Moses. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. Why, is, why are you opening? I just Sorry. wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. If we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Decision detected. Can I just take the car then I, I won't tell him? I mean... <sighs> this is stressing me out. No. <laughs> okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. Let's be confident in here. Thank you for your concern, Detective. I'll keep that in mind. That's everything. I believe I'm free to go, right? Yes. You are. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Oh. Oh, shit. Moses, wait.
Oh, no, 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 she don't okay. hit. Let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Wait, is that... Wilder Beasts Than These by Lucas Colmanero. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out. Ugh, she's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute... Don't be like that. It's not that bad. I don't know. I think I just her. And see if it gets me anywhere. I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my uh, evidence. No, I love it. Oh my god, Max. How many of these movies? It's a cat. Hello? This a cat. This a cat. This is your new power, Max Caulfield. Saving lost cats in other dimensions? Time to greet our furry friend. What the hell? There's a cat at my door. My other door. I hope the cat's okay. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. This is a little one, right? Weird. Who's out there? Oh, look at you. That's a I like orange cat. I have an orange cat. <laughs> Precious. But she doesn't like me, so. Give me some toasts for this marmalade. Oh, I have a cat in Game and Entry. That's all. Where did you come from? Are you a refugee? Or a fugitive? Mm, no collar, huh? So... What do I call you? Okay, so my real cat name is Mochi. It's based on Japanese teeth. So I guess this one is Miso? How about Miso Soup? Just Miso for short. Oh, right. Well, she doesn't like me Affection. either. What was I thinking? <laughs> well, if you're staying, I should probably consider a couple of cat quality of life changes. Do cats like cushions? Yes, they like it. I, at least my cat does. There. 
a bed fit for a king. Hey, Miso. Mind if I get a photo? Can you do a big stretch for me? Worth a try. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. Sophie's and I loved telling Sophie how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. I should crack those open eventually. Sophie's alive here, and she might ask me what I thought. This should do the trick. Here, kitty kitty. Chow time. See? We can be friends. Oh, okay. You go ahead and eat this you're hungry. Look at this puke. <laughs> With Sophie alive in this timeline, I I don't even know what to put here, if anything. I think my outfit is perfectly max. Unless... I bet the coffee table has enough room for my evidence. Where's my cat? If there's a silver lining, it's that I've got another chance to take a proper candid of you. Poor little guy. Well, I guess that's it for the cat then. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. This was meant to be a loud message, but from who? And what does it mean? While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen, it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't- Lucas, 
I really don't think he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. But there's clearly more bad blood here than I knew about. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. What if I go to the dark? Moses is what? waiting for me in the other, uh, world. My dark room here is empty. How do you know it's empty? Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? No. I, I will be. I think. I'm here if you need to vent. I lose one of my closest friends. And when I should be processing my grief, I'm being interrogated by this... Appreciate you standing up to him. My pleasure. You didn't need to deal with any of that. Not then, not ever. <sighs> How about we see if Safi's selfie skills are better than mine? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Hey, what is? Sneaky girl. What is this? What is that? Oh, uh, oh. Max, you... Uh, you killed her? What? No! Of course not! So that... that... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe? I don't know! So this is why you went and got the camera? No, Moses. Please. This is me you're talking about. Me. There's a lot I don't know about you. But you know I wouldn't do something like that. I could never. I didn't expect that. Wait a little bit. But... You stay the fuck away from me.
Sumpah ya, the time sleeping going crazy The time I'm sleeping is crazy Wow, I didn't expect that at all Well, I I I, I did I really didn't expect that at all. Oh, wow, what what an ending, man! What a cliffhanger! Only one episode through right now, but it has it haven't got out yet. Dang it! <sighs> okay, uh, now ah uh, wait. <sighs> okay, let's see the choice. See the first. Now I feel bad. I feel bad. Yeah. Twice I. Uh, what version of Gwen is angry? With, angry to me. Yeah, friends, man, friends. How do we? How do we help? How do we help? I don't know. Oh, oh, that's the bad. What's the bathroom key for? Okay, okay, I slept there. Hmm. Oh, I. I Test the mental health. Oh, I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. Then crack count in my second playthrough. Great. I mean, she's not that. Big. She's just a journal. You know, get that through. I have many. I haven't touched many of the Zen point at this second chapter. Well, that has been a blast. So many twists. So many surprise, so many annoying sausage voices. <laughs> Man, who are sweating? Okay, uh, good night, everybody. Thank you for watching my second chapter playthrough. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, whoever watch it, and yeah, I will post this on youtube as fast as i could and okay, if you like the video if you like the gameplay please subscribe on youtube and follow in, me on twitch so yeah see you then see you later next week uh, saturday at this time yeah thank you bye